Hi, welcome back to Bow Action Bunker. Uh, and in this video, uh, it's uh, a painting tutorial, and I'm going to be painting some British Union Brigade. So um, I've undercoated them. So I've used grey as I normally use grey. I prefer grey because you can still see, or I can still see, all the detail on the model. So it's easier to pick it out. Um, I do like black, but unfortunately um, I find it hard to see all the detail once, once they get sprayed all black. So I've primed them all grey. I've got them on little bases. Um, I don't like putting on long lollipop sticks. So I've got them on bases. Um, they're individual at the moment and then I'll just break them off and have to retouch up the boots So um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do in this video So make sure you subscribe make sure you, you ring the bell for the notifications uh, Show the channel a bit of love and support. Uh, that'd be fantastic and uh, Let's get on. Let's start painting these models Okay, so let's just take a closer look at uh, the Union Brigade. So uh, as you can see I've put them on this base just super glued them down to a bit of card really just um, some people use put them on a lollipop stick some people sort of have a rod um, paint them on a rod but um, you know I just couldn't get on with that so I just stuck them onto the base and I'll just have to redo their feet afterwards so yeah so they're nice models I've already done the the horses so um, I've already painted up the horse so that was one I did for the basing tutorial um, just base that up just to have a look at what they like so the horses come out really well pleased with them so now we're just waiting for the riders so here we go so um, with the Union Brigade so we're doing um, a grey trouser a red jacket um, and then white white or creamy gloves with uh, black hats Okay, so that's all the red done. So now let's uh, move on to the basing of the trousers. And like I said, they're grey. I've primed them in grey, but I'm going to go over with a lighter grey than that, I think. So um, I'm going to start that and I'll show you a bit of that. Here we go. Okay, so we're just going to go on with some light grey and uh, completely coat the model all the trousers completely do the trousers with this so as much as I base coated them grey um, it's a bit dark so I'm just gonna go over with this lighter grey and then we'll build up from there So just go round to all his trousers, it won't take long. Um, and then we can put some detail on that on his trousers a bit later on. So, there we go. Okay. the grey for his trousers. So I'll get the rest done and I'll be back in a bit. Okay so I'm going to do their faces next. Uh, all their trousers are done. Uh, just all light grey. That's just drying. So um, I'm just going to put their faces in. Now I am absolutely dreadful at faces so I just use a, a warm skin tone. Uh, for this, you could use flat flesh, uh, which I've done in the past, which is Vallejo. Um, I've also used the Games Workshop stuff. But, um, yeah, so this is just a straight uh, warm skin tone. 
and that is from who's that from uh, MIG okay so there we go and again just water that down a little bit um, for my watering down sometimes I just use water which is great um, but I use um, a little bit of flow aid as well so um, sometimes I use flow aid sometimes I can I just use clean water but so today is just flow aid in there and with this um, a lot of this is all going to be covered up so just go go in with his face uh, there we go it's going to want a couple of thin coats in there you know some people like putting faces on first which I have done in the past if there's a lot of flesh I'll go in and you know do all the flesh first get that done uh, um, but there's not a lot of flesh on these guys really Now oh, there we go Okay, so I've just noticed that um, all the guys um, on these dragoons should have black blue collars. Uh, so I'm just going to put that in now. And the reason I'm doing it now and not later is okay, if I mess anything up, it's nice and easy. I can pick it up with a highlight and just uh, and just you know touch it up with a highlight if I have to with the red. So I'm just going to put this in now just to see what it looks like, make sure it's right uh, make sure I've got the right blue, so this is just a dark blue that's going on now um, just picking up a little bit of the detail really while the faces and that are drying there we go, so it's just a uh, just go around the model now, go around each one picking up this bit of blue okay so um, done all the collars so now I'm going to, uh, while well, I've got the blue out I'm going to put this line on uh, on, this, on his trouser um, it is just a thin line down the trousers either side um, just try and keep that as neat as you can Right, so the blue line's all done, and I'm going to put some uh, wash on his red jacket. So for the red, rather than using an Agrac first shade, so I use the Citadel miniature stuff um, for the washes. Um, instead of Agrac first shade, which I feel a bit too dark for these, um, I'm going to use this uh, Reichland Reichland flesh shade. So I'm going to go over with that. Um, because it's a little bit more redder as well so I'm going to do his face and I'm going to do his jacket okay so uh, let's just go on here and as you can see it's still going to sort of pick up um, the edges of all the stuff um, but it's not going to make it too dark so I can just go over and put a highlight on here that's just picking up picking up the detail really around his jacket and like I say I'm going to go over and put a highlight on this jacket and bring that out so they look a lot better once that goes on there we go and I'm going to use the same for his face okay so the next wash is for his trousers and that's going to be the, the null oil and I'm just going to put that on his trousers just go over all in the recesses of his trousers bring out all that bit there we go okay so all the washes are now dry on here so um, you know they look pretty 
grubby so um, I want to do a couple of highlights on here now so I've just watered down some of the base colour the grey thin that right out um, so let's see what I can show you how far down so it is really really sort of watery hardly anything there at all and again I'm using just this flow medium um, just to sort of wash that down get that right down so dry your brush off again get, just get it on the tip of your brush um, and then just a little bit of trial and error so try somewhere where you're going to want a highlight okay so that's a little bit runny and then just get that on there just work it round and then a little bit more white in there and then this is going to be the sort of final final highlight around the knee um, you know you can keep going if you want and bring this right up I think that really does work there I was a little bit worried about this grey. I did some grey trousers um, the other day and uh, it didn't come out well at all. But uh, no, that's come up really well. Pleased with that. And then last little bit, last little bit of white there, just on the edges, just on that highlight around there. So there we go. So that's the highlight on his trouser. So he's still got the blue down the side of his trousers there. So we might sort of just go over a little bit, but probably not. So that's that. Uh, next up, I think I might do the gloves, get those painted in. Um, and then I've got the white cross belts, white gloves. I've got his bare skin hat, which is black. Now, for some odd reason, my flat black's gone shiny. I don't know why, it might just be because it's old. So, um, I've got to check out a couple of colours. What I'm going to do with a black. I've got a nice uh, dark grey. I've got a, uh, yeah, a, a black grey. So I might just use that and see how that comes up. But happy with that so far. So um, the faces still need a little bit of highlight on. His chin strap's going to be black as well. So it's coming along. There we go. Let's get a chance to dry. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Oh yeah, so with this uh, medium, the only thing I do find is it does dry quick on your palette. So um, that's what I tend to use water when I'm watering this down rather than the medium because it does dry out rather quick, especially when you spread it out like this. If you're just using water, it tends to, to stay a little bit longer before you need to redo it. Okay, so I'm going to change, uh, I'm going to do a few more and I'll show you in a little while. Okay, so I've been trying a few different things out while uh, we've been off camera and um, I want to do some gloves. Now, all the artwork um, that comes with this shows the gloves as a beige colour with a, with a slight highlight in there. Now, um, I've painted, a, painted them white. They're white. Um, so I painted one up white, blocked in his cross belts and a little bit more around here where I think that's all going to be white. And yeah, it looks okay, but I do think maybe it needs to be toned down just a little bit. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just tone that in now with uh, 
this seraphin shade and just see what this one comes out like. Um, now, like I say, uh, these gloves are this colour. So let's do his gloves. And again, just, you know, I'm just putting this on very sparingly. Um, I only want it to go really in the fingers, uh, in the wrist section, around there, and then around that edge where it meets there. Okay, so it just tones it down just a little bit. So um, that's that. The other thing that they do as well with it is his bag so I'm gonna do that as well because I've blocked it in all white I can now add this and uh, it should just color that with the color I want I'm not going mad with it. I don't really want it on anything else. There we go. And then from there, his cross belt, half of it is uh, for this bag. So we can just put that in as well. Use this colour. Now I did notice on the models themselves when I actually gluing them together, I thought it was it'd be fine. There's a little gap here between the, his back and the pack on the side. Um, and I thought, oh, well, it'll just fill. I'll just fill it with paint or whatever. Um, it hasn't filled very well on this one. I think a couple of the others fitted a little bit better. But you can actually see the gap on this one. So, if you're taking a lot of time over your army, get some green stuff, fill them gaps first. Uh, Games Workshop, this one's quite a good one. There we go. So just follow this all round. Just this glove. I don't know what kind of hand this guy's got. Multi purpose, I think it goes the wrong way. I wouldn't like to hold a sword like that, but there we go. So let's just block that in. And then all I'm going to do, once that's dry. Um, on the gloves is just go back in on the gloves and just highlight that up a little bit I don't know really know why they've picked that color um, there we go it is what it is Just making sure all these edges are got some wash in. Yeah, 
Okay. So as you can see, it's coming along. It's coming along good. So I've got lots and lots of white to do before we do the next bit. Let that dry. And then I've um, got the red to highlight yet. But yeah, pleased with that. It's coming along really well. So let's uh, move on to the next bit then. See you in a minute. Alright, so while we're waiting for a couple of bits to dry, I'm just going to paint this uh, hat on this guy. Um, I've got some dark grey. And uh, yeah, I just block it all in. There's quite a lot of gold to go on here later on. Okay, so I have now got all the white done on all the guys. So there's uh, all 12 of them. Um, I was going to do this the brown shading for his gloves. I didn't like it, so I'm going to go with the white gloves because I think they make them really stand out well. Um, so now I've just got to pick up some of this kit now. His, his carbine, <clears throat> the pouches sword scabbard his water bottle so um, I'm going to start doing a little bit of that uh, I'm going to do the water bottle next so some brown strapping uh, on there and the water bottle should be uh, in a blue um, so I'll do that and then um, I'll show you what that looks like <coughs> brown for the water bottle so on some of these guys you don't see a lot of the strapping. These are the plastic models from uh, Warlord Games. So um, some of the detail was a bit sort of finicky around the strapping. So this one, uh, it starts here. So I've already painted that white. So I'm just going to have to go over that again. So uh, for his water bottle. Now the water bottles have got a ridge that run around the outside of them which will be their black leather strap so you've just sort of got to make that make good as best you can there um, so you'll see in a minute the uh, blue that I use for the water bottle is quite a bright blue I like the bright bright blue um, I don't know if I've got one there's one so uh, it's quite quite a bright blue I like to use for the water bottles um, makes them stand out when they're on the table top it makes them stand out sometimes it's nice to you know have a brighter color a little bit more than it would have been normally but it does make your figures stand out so there we go so that's the brown strapping and uh, while I've got the brown out I'm gonna just uh, paint in his carbine here with the brown on this guy uh, and then I'll go over a little bit later on and pick up the metal sections and the brass uh, it's starting to come together now I've got some detailing to do on his jacket. The highlighting as well has got to be done. But for the red, it doesn't take long to do that red. And I'm going to leave it till <clears throat> nigh on last just to pick up the, the highlight on the red. I only go in with one highlight really. And I'll show you that. Uh, um, like I say, depending what you want out of this tutorial, you know, if you're doing two or three different levels of shading, then, you know, just crack on and get it done. You know what you like. If you're somebody that doesn't normally do a lot of shading, um, then it's nice to see how easy one or two levels can be um, and then once you've done one or two levels and you've got used to doing that and you get your paint, painting level increases you can then move up and do more there we go so it's just that 
just that brown it's a little bit lumpy but I'll put some highlight on that by the time we put some brass on there as well that'll start looking a lot better okay so that's the brown on that that's how I paint that bit so um, let's move on and I'll do the rest pick up what I need to do on all the rest of it uh, and all the guys and I'll see you in a bit okay so we're using the uh, scarlet red to highlight this up now his jacket um, I thought I was recording <laughs> and wasn't so I've done a little bit so I've done his arm here around this side around the back so all you want to do is just fill in the panels now of his jacket so I've watered the paint down with some thinners um, with some fluid retarder and um, I'm just going around I'm leaving the dark edges on the outside of his jacket just picking up the centers all round so we're leaving like a shadow in there now there's still what's worrying me is there's still a lot a lot of gold on this jacket um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet it'll come out alright in the end I'm sure but like I say there is a lot of gold on this guy um, how bright that red's come out which I like and like I say you might not like it you might be doing your line troops in a, in a couple of different colour reds that you like um, you know personal preference isn't it so go with what you like if you're good at painting um, painting line troops and you've got your colour scheme down well then stick with it it's probably the best way to go uh, um, but if you haven't then you know this doesn't come out too bad there we go so I'll let that dry and then uh, I'll show you the results like I say I've got uh, a blue kind of is it just uh, a Citadel Calgar blue which is a PAL blue and uh, paint these in Uh, which is sort of going around now picking up the detail of the guys so there's his blue water bottle that one's done get the rest of them done we'll pick up what's next blue's done that's drying now so I'm going to pick up the scabbard uh, and this little pouch here which is black the scabbard is black as well so I'm going to do that if I've got enough here I'm going to do just just paint your shoes in uh, and he's got a little pouch at the back here which will be black as well so uh, just going to go around and pick up uh, all these black parts now and so that bread's dry now for his jacket and uh, really pleased with how that's come out they're really nice and bright nice bright red so uh, they're going to really stand out I want to get these last little bits done now okay so that's just the scabbard his little pouch a uh, little uh, ammunition pack at the back there done I'll let them dry I'll go around and find all the rest of them and I'll come back and we'll move on oh. okay so next up is uh, gun metal I'm going to do gun metal for his sword and also he's got some uh, stirrups here as well I'm going to put some gun metal around them uh, that's it there I think that's it for the gun metal. Oh, top of his, top of his, uh, on the tip of his uh, rifle there. Were, that just uh, gun metal as well. So I'm going to put on there his sword and stirrups, all in the gun metal. So let's get on and let's get that going. So there we go. So it's just a little bit on here the gun metal on his stirrup and um, 
I've done his sword gun metal as well which I'll highlight in a minute and then just the last little bit which is the tip of his uh, it's not a rifle carbine I think it is uh, the tip of that just there right so um, I'll get on and do the rest of these and I'll show you in a minute um, all the plumes are done they're drying so now um, I think we just need to tackle this gold and um, we're nearly there so um, there's like I say there's lots and lots of gold on this model and um, you can do as much or as little as you like right so I'm just going to pick up this white first before I finish the gold before I do the gold so on the back of his jacket to be honest I don't think you're actually going to see this because uh, he's mounted on the horse um, I don't think you actually see this part of his jacket but only takes a second so I'm just gonna put that in last little bit of detail there so I'm gonna go around and finish all these um, I'm gonna work on little bits at a time um, so I'm gonna do the hats first uh, this section uh, this little bit inside his hat here is gold we're gonna get it everywhere you can just tell but there we go take your time uh, you know if we go over any of the edges or anything it's going on a black hat so we will be able just to clean that up without too much problem there we go that's that little bit um, now also the detail on here there's a little curve indent in his hat which uh, is gold as well which goes as it happens it goes all the way around so I'll work on that bit next I'm gonna give that a second that's still dry in that hat right so let's do this one Like I say, there is a a lot of gold on these guys. You know, it's amazing the cavalry, how much money they must have spent kitting themselves out. You know, a lot of these young men who was in the cavalry uh, were all sort of self-funding, especially the well, the officers were. Um, you know, everything about them is just expense. Like I say, I'm going to just draw these in and uh, if I muck any of it up we can always just go back over later with a little bit of black it ain't going to take long just to uh, tidy that up but obviously the neater you can do it the better it will be the first time round so there we go, that looks really good Now, uh, bottom of his plume, more gold there. I'll just pick that up, and then there's a line around the back of his bare skin. We'll do as well. Just there. Just round like that. Okay, so that's the first little bit done. going so well 
let's pick up a little bit on this jacket okay so the front of his tunic uh, on his collar this gold bit okay so uh, let's get back on this and finish these models off um, I'm going to do the gold work on here now um, and get this get this done this video is actually seem to be taking forever so let's just do the gold sections um, like I said there's quite a lot of gold on this guy um, in his hat Uh, there's gold. Let's get this painted in. Now, I've already done quite a few of these already, and um, I found the easiest way was just to get the gold in. And if I have to, just go back over with the back over with the black. So uh, let's just uh, crack on. Let's get some of this gold on. Get this done. Now on his tunic, um, there is quite a lot of gold in here. Um, I'm not a good enough painter to get it all in there. So I've been doing uh, the upstand on his collar, which is gold. And there's meant to be stripes down his tunic that's all gold. And like I say, I'm not good enough to get in there and do all those individual stripes. So I have just been put in a block of gold there on his tunic and uh, to be honest they've come out quite well right so that's there there's a little bit of gold in there and in there as well I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get that just maybe there we go so that's gold um, his belt his cumber band is gold as well so that's done all in here um, you could <clears throat> do in individual lines there if you're good enough to I'm not, so I'm just going to block that in really, block that bit in, and then around his belt again, you could get some individual lines in there, I'm not going to worry, I'm just going to get that gold in there, like that, okay, so then I've been doing a couple of gold dots there, one that side and one that side just to pin his jacket back like that um, some gold epaulettes so they're not actually on the model so I'm just doing a couple of lines across his shoulder one that side and then one that side down his trouser um, he's got buttons all the way down here um, on the metal figures they're really prominent you can pick them out really easy on these plastic figures they're a little bit more finicky so again I can't hit every single one so I'm just going to go down do the best I can uh, trouble is some dots are slightly bigger than others just do the best you can with them there you go they're not perfect but once they're on the table they look great so again this side I don't think you're going to see a lot of this it's going to be um, on the horse either side of the horse so you're not going to see a lot of it so that's there he's got a belt buckle on the back and again 
do your best to pick that out like that and that's a line there as well is bottle Uh, his bottle has got a couple of lines on it. One there, one there, one there. On this side. On his bag as well. Um, on the metal figures there's a bit more of a detail there. On the plastic ones there's not. So I've just been dobbing a little bit of gold there. Either side on his bag. Um, you can't really see it much. On his pouch for his bullets or whatever that will be on there. I've been doing a little gold dot as well. Let's pick up gold for his uh, rifle. It's not a rifle, whatever it is. There. Um, there's a little bit of brass detail on the end if you can get it. If you can't, don't worry, just get it done, get a little bit of brass line around it. Just shows up. You can actually see it, so that works well. Um, bottom of his scabbard is gold. Top of his scabbard, I've been doing gold. Like that. Nearly there. Uh, on his hat detail, there's a line round it. Uh, again, take your time, but if you mess it up, you know, this, oh, this line's massive, but there we go. If you mess it up, it's easy just to go in with the black, just to go back over the top of that and uh, fill that in. No big deal. So that's that. He's got a couple of little tassels on his hat. Pick them up. While we're doing his hat, there we go. I don't know where the bottom of his plume is gold, but I've been doing it gold. Just there, his sword. So just the guard. I've been doing gold, and mainly because it all st it, you know it stands out. I like it. I like it standing out on the figures. There we go. That's there. I've got a little bit of red to cover up there, so I'll go back and do that in a minute. So I think that's just about all the gold. I've got spurs to do. Um, do those once they're on the horse no big deal just go in and just paint your shoes a little bit of that so apart from the very last bits of detail oh and you know, while we're doing it just the chin strap is gold as well um, so the faces um, I've left with just the skin tone and the wash for now I may go in afterwards with just another little bit of skin tone just to finish clearing that up a little bit. Just tidy that up. But other than that, that's them done. So, um, yeah, it's a long video. But um, they've come out really well. Been pleased with them. So um, I'm just going to finish off a little bit more detail on here, what I want to do. Um, try and pick up a few little highlights, maybe. Um, but I think this video has gone on far, far, far too long for a painting tutorial. Uh, but there we go. And um, So. There's my figures. They come out really well. Really pleased with them. Uh, I'll show you the end result in a minute. Okay, so there's one more little detail I wanted to go over. So his bag on here, just going to edge highlight uh, his bag here. So I'm just using a bit of the matte black or the dark grey, mixing that up. 
a little bit of white in there um, just to bring it up and then just going to do an edge highlight around this bag that's on his side here there we go and across the top that's a bit bit light but there we go okay so that's there and then <clears throat> down the bag I'm just going to put three or four lines on the bag just like that just to give it a bit of a uh, bit of detail yeah so I'm going to clean up clean the black up round clean him up and then uh, Stick him on a horse. He'll be going. And there you have the finished uh, British Union Brigade Cavalry. All done, all painted, all based. Uh, really enjoyed painting them. I hope you enjoyed uh, the painting tutorial of the guys. I'm going to do a horse one, how I paint my horses on a different one. So, uh, yeah, sorry for this being absolutely so long and I'm going to try and cut it down as much as I can but there we go so let's just have a little close up how these guys turned out so uh, yeah so they come out really well the commander was really nice there we go picture of the commander yeah so uh, there we go like I say really pleased with them so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe give me a big thumbs up doesn't cost anything so uh, I will see you in the next one Thanks for watching Bolt Action Bunker on this episode of Painting uh, the Union Brigade Cavalry. Hope you really enjoyed that. This video was really long, unfortunately. Um, but I got there in the end. There's a lot of detail work on these models. So the more effort you put in, the better they're going to look. Um, I'm going to do a painting horses, how I paint my horses, um, on a different uh, tutorial. So uh, keep your eyes out for that one. And also, I've got a few more bits coming up. Um, so, yeah, so just uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.